This is Lou Dobbs Tonight. News, debate, and opinion for Monday, August 28th. Sitting in for Lou Dobbs, who is on vacation, Kitty Pilgrim. Tonight, the war on the middle class hits home. As interest rates rise, families across the country are finding it increasingly difficult to keep up with the monthly mortgage payments. Now, the result is a staggering rise in the number of foreclosures. Lisa Sylvester reports. Any other bids? Investors crowd into an office in downtown Chicago. 195,000 once, 195,000 twice. Bidding on foreclosed properties. There are many to choose from. Housing foreclosures in the Chicago area are up 60%, according to analysis by the firm foreclosures.com. A 60% increase first quarter after second quarter is a very big number. I think we're on an uptick. I think we're starting to see an increase in numbers, and we're going to continue to see this increase. During the housing boom, many middle class families financed their homes with adjustable rate mortgages. When interest rates began climbing, they suddenly found themselves unable to afford the higher monthly mortgage payments. We anticipate there's going to be more and more people. The adjusting uh, arms are, are getting uh, greater and greater. We've heard it over the next uh, 18 months or so, up to a trillion dollars of uh, you know, arms will be resetting. Interest rates are going up. It's not just in Illinois. Foreclosure activity in Michigan is up 42% in the last year. California up more than 41% and Colorado 36%. Neighborhood Housing Services of Chicago helped Catherine Powell keep her home. After a divorce, she was $20,000 behind in her payments and her lender was on the verge of foreclosing. Whenever you have a situation that can set you back a month or two, it can be really hard to get caught up when you've, you, you've had two incomes versus one. She was fortunate that she had enough equity in her home to refinance, but others are not and are learning a hard lesson. An arm can quickly turn into a fist when interest rates are on the way up. Consumer groups say people at risk of foreclosure need to stay on top of it, talk to their lender, find a credit or housing counselor to work on the problem. There are options, including refinancing, but it's important to get help and to get it early. Lisa Sylvester, CNN, Washington.